the shoe? I'd like to think so, don't you? Your brand for sale, trade it right away in here. Who can say it's natural if someone's rejection makes you want to choose another direction? All I want to say is that I Pleasure to meet you in this place. Yeah, it's a lovely market. Bah, on commence là-bas. We have to negotiate the fact that we are filming in the flower oh, store. On a une petite question, un petit yes. euh, service à vous demander. Vous voulez éventuellement utiliser votre un étalage? Uh, voilà. Oh. Only <laughs> drifter Karen. So it's mm. three word. Yeah. Is it? Uh, is it? Um, because you are three in the back. I think it's just the name of this musical project. It fitted well with the, the music that I was doing because lonely is some kind of uh, stands for melancholy, uh, drifter for traveling and seeking, and Karen because it's a female character, and so I just took this uh, phrase, which is actually from the last from Trio's film, The Idiots. I thought sometimes like maybe the, the if uh, lonely maybe sounds a little bit negative, but then I think on the other hand that um, the the drifter is like the, the positive aspect. So it's like some kind of um, um, plus and minus. Uh, yeah, the travel experience makes you overcome the loneliness. And that's what um, happened to, to to this project as well. That I started alone and now we're playing as a as a three piece band. <laughs> you meet each other, you, you take contact with uh, Mark and uh, yeah. Giorgio mm -hmm. by internet. It's a modern way of meeting now. I like very much uh, Mark's former band, and so I contacted his band if they were interested to do a project together. I met uh, Giorgio actually before um, in Italy. We really didn't know what would happen because uh, initially we were just like uh, maybe would record like just a few songs together, but it went so well that we um, are still playing together now. So. I think it's a it's a good good, good energy. Yeah, completed energy. Yeah, when you take for example, Mark was playing like in in some sort of a Spanish cabaret, band, a little yeah, bit also. like the German uh, cabaret, but they were singing in Spanish. And I think that he also brings in this kind of influences. Yes, I don't know, and uh, yeah, I like very much my lady when I was a child, and maybe that's also. Um, so the, the the childhood is here. You get your material from them. I don't know, I didn't think about it before. I like very much uh, reading children's books, like very funny children's stories. Very simple, but with a good message, you know? Yeah. Something which is like uh, easy to understand for everybody, mm, who is just open-minded. And that's what children are, you know? We are on concert tonight in Paris, and I hope we will have a very big uh, child party tonight at the sunset. It's funny because a lot of people said uh, that, that our music is very um, cinematic, and we didn't really think about it before, like uh, we were just recording the songs. Um, but I think that uh, a lot of times when I compose something, I have like some visual images in my mind and I think the way that I'm writing the lyrics are like a painting sometimes or like some, something visual. So. What kind of painting it is? Um, like surrealist painting? Yeah, it's like a dream. There is no um, order. I mean it's, it's, it's chaotic. The atmosphere is the main um, theme and then everything around it um, just comes up, you know. But there is no, no really like a a story from the beginning and an end. The next uh, record will will have the same atmosphere, you see? I have no idea. I mean, there are some, some songs that, that I'm writing on, but I have no idea where, where it will end up. Sometimes you do understand your own dreams, and sometimes you don't understand them so much either. It's just like the feeling that you, you, you get, which is like uh, strong, and so you... You let, you, you, you let it. Yeah. I wanted to thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, Tanya. You.